Hey guys, what's up? Time Jim here. Welcome back. Today I thought I'd do something a little different as far as my content goes. I thought I'd do something uh, from Image this time. Just talk a little uh, something about uh, an Image comic that I recently had the pleasure of, of reading all the way through. And uh, today it's uh, Ed Brubaker's Velvet. Now... Ed Brubaker has done a lot of stuff for Image uh, recently. He he has he's basically pumping out incredible stories. A lot of them, many many fans have uh, sunk their teeth into and really enjoyed. And it, he's come up with some quality quality stuff uh, over at Image right now. He's he's really really killing it right now. And this is one of his latest works that's uh, gone into a collected edition. Now, if you're not familiar uh, with Ed Brubaker's work. He actually uh, is the one, or well, part of the team, that had a, the his amazing run on Captain America. And one of his more famous works uh, from that series is uh, bringing, back, bringing back Bucky and doing the whole Winter Soldier storyline, which is what the movie was based off as Captain America Winter Soldier. Uh, he actually, actually made an appearance in the movie. Uh, he was one of the uh, scientists in the background uh, with the glasses and uh, during uh, Bucky's brainwashing uh, phase when he was with uh, when he was doing the brainwashing with uh, Zola I believe not Zola but uh, I forget I forget who it was anyway yeah he it, Captain America was probably his most famous run at Marvel at the time and, and is one of his most notable runs now he's at image now he's doing uh, you know a lot more you know amazing stories and velvet is one of them now velvet let me see if I can <laughs> sort of entice you a bit what what velvet kind of is at least to me velvet is to me a cross between a James Bond, James Bond 007 the Bourne uh, supremacy in, in all those movies, all those Bourne movies, and a little bit, a hint of uh, where in the world is Car Carmen San Diego. It's it's an incredible type of uh, concoction there. Uh, it's it's a spy novel. It's a, it's a spy novel, and it's so well written, guys. It, it's 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 got a lot of. Uh, depth to it and a lot of heart and a lot of real gritty stuff there it this this book takes place during the cold war and velvet uh miss uh, miss velvet Templeton works for a spy agency now she works as a, as a secretary when we first when we're, when we're first introduced to her and she finds out that uh someone who uh, she, who, to whom she was very close with, with one of the spies, ends up getting killed during a mission. Now, <laughs> Velvet has uh, has a very useful skill in that she has a photo photographic memory and she stores all the information in her head like an encyclopedia. And so she tries to go and investigate and see what she, what she can do and, and this ends up turning all in its head and it's just an adventure from there on out it's it's an amazing pretty much a tour de force of, of uh, you know going to place to place to place and uh, finding clues about things and uh, you know staking out you know doing doing sp basically spy stuff you know, uh, you know going undercover uh, making up disguises um, you know uh, doing whatever it takes for a mission including you know um, you know, getting a little, you know, romantical <laughs> with with certain individuals that you know, just for the job sake, you know, just just for the uh, to, for the sake of information. And it's it's very very well done because there's a lot there's a lot more characters in here than just a Velvet. There's a lot of uh, male characters who uh, really didn't take her seriously. They just thought, oh, she's the secretary. She's a pretty secretary. You know what harm could a secretary do and uh, they really sort of uh, devalue her 
uh, and her skills of what she's capable of until they see firsthand like wow she's she's not only a spy she is one of the best and it's an amazing amazing run uh, Steve Epting who also uh, was a part of the amazing uh, Captain America run uh, you know the the Witcher Soldier storyline he did the art for that now he returns for this book and Brubaker and Epting have been wanting to do something together for a while and this is this is the basically the, the the culmination of of what they've been wanting. They they've waited for a qu quite a long time to work together. Uh, they're they're finally they finally got together and and do something uh, that they feel is is very rewarding to the to not just only to the readers but for themselves. And it really shows. It really shines. Uh, this book has a lot of uh, a lot of character death. It has it's a very personal type of story. There's a lot of inner monologue involved. Uh, the art is fantastic. It's very dark, uh, but it's um, it's very realistic in my opinion. Uh, like I said, this takes place in, in during the Cold War, so uh, we see a lot of throwbacks to you know, basically if you if you've ever saw a um, a 007 movie with uh, Sean Connery in it, there's a lot of throwbacks to that. Uh, that era and a lot of uh, uh, inspiration to from those movies uh, that that you see there with 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 a lot of the the locate locales that were that were dropped in there, um, a lot of the the fashion sense and a lot of the um, sort of the nuances here and there that you you get from like a 007 movie, but it's also like I said it also has a lot of inspiration from uh, the Bourne movies as the, with all the fighting and you know sort of uh, doing stuff on the fly type of thing, and uh, you know, it, 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 this is just a lot of stuff. And with the, like I said, there's a, a bit of a where in the world is Carmen San Diego in there in a bit. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's just a lot of like globe trotting and stuff like that. It's an amazing story. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of like, like I said, there's a lot of inner inner dialogue, but it makes the it's a character story, so you want that to flow. A bit, but it's got a it's, it's a crime mystery. You want to know what happens, uh, you know? How did this this end up getting from there? And Brew Baker's a master at that. He's done a lot of crime stories uh, for Image uh, as of late, and he's really sort of it's sort of really uh, very made very prominent here. He's sort of really mastered the the art of doing a crime story, a crime uh, novel, and to me, you know. That was one of the things that made Captain America, Captain America was so great that, uh, that Cap, you know, basically was a, did a spy thing and and he, you know, just did it right. He just, it was just awesome. So another uh, work that Ed Brubaker has done is uh, the Fade Out. Now, if, now if you like the old type of noir type of stories, I suggest reading the Fade Out because this th this was the Ed, other Ed Brubaker book that I read previously before Velvet. And it's om I say it's, it's, it's a tie between uh, this and Velvet as my two favorite Ed Brubaker books from Image. Guys, if you haven't read Fade Out, I highly suggest you read the Fade Out. It is an amazing, amazing crime noir story that delves with, with uh, Hollywood and the communist age and another sort of Cold War type of thing. And uh, yeah, he writes great stuff in that era. I can't highly... I highly, highly su suggested, you know, go read it if you can. It's in the collected hardback collection. Go read it and in trade paperbacks. Go read it, guys. Another book that I suggest you guys read from Ed Brubaker is Fatal. Uh, there's two hardcovers uh, that are collected in this book. Uh, Fatal is a is a story, uh, sort of sort of a a crime noir slash horror story, but it's it's Lovecraftian horror, which means there's a lot of you know Cthulhu mythos and very uh very dark and very uh uh sort of weird circumstances that go on but it's a it's an awesome uh story and it's a very uh uh character driven story as well but that's it guys uh I hope you guys enjoy I hope you read all those books I read Fatal it's a fantastic uh I'll do another review for oh actually I'm going to read another book right now is Daredevil uh, by Brew Breaker as well. So take care, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Read these books and I uh, hope you enjoy. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.